Okay, number four is post-pandemic content will shape up to consumer needs. And um, this really is just adapting to customer behavior. And there's some analysis here on the type of brand mentions and both video and image uh, content type, rather, were really driving most of the engagement across the platform. One of the things I want to call out here is what they're calling the Audio's Agile Acceleration. Now, we saw the rise of Clubhouse. We see, we see the rise and the fall, kind of, of Clubhouse. I'm just kidding. But there's also Twitter Spaces and many other social audio platforms, kind of like podcasting type of apps uh, come onto the scene. And, you know, again, it's, it's reaching an audience where in their preferred platform. Some people can be on a conference calls or checking email and participating. Well, maybe not conference calls, but, but working and listening to audio conversations that are live, talking about the topics that are, that are most important to them. Talkwalker calls out a couple different content here, you know, about authority, mental health, uh, music, et cetera, where people are just gravitating towards these communities that are important to them, that are topically relevant to what they're interested in. And so if those conversations are happening within some type of social, social audio app, then so be it, right? Brands need to not just participate, but also um, leverage analytics to better understand what those topics are in, in an effort to you know create content that is a lot more relevant to what your consumer needs are and what they are.